right now I'm 16 and uh, my favorite singers purely singers would probably have to be like um, for their voices Michael Jackson Frank Ocean's a really good singer uh, Chet Baker he's a guy from like the 50s he's like an amazing jazz artist I recommend you listen to Chet Baker sings it's one of my favorite albums ever he's got the smoothest voice I've ever heard um a lot. Um, who have I been listening to recently? Oh, Willow. Willow Smith. I, th I think she has a very unique voice, and I'm, I'm, I'm in love with that one album. It's like the, the one with her, and she's got like, it's like inverted colors. It's like blue and white, and her face is like blue. I can't remember what it's called. It might just be Willow. Um, but that's a really good album that I've been really into recently. Question from Emma Moyer. What do you aspire to be such do when you're older? And I've got this question a lot, um, so I might answer it for other people too, but that's a very good question. Um, right now, uh, I'm leaning more towards a psychology uh, field, um, something dealing with the sorts. Uh, I'd want to learn about how the brain works and how thoughts work and how interactions like everything about those things and I think psychology would be cool because I could maybe start my own practice you know being like a like a therapist or a psychiatrist or like a just a psychologist in general and just maybe helping people with their problems talking to them uh, using my knowledge about that to help other people is basically what I want to do but if that doesn't work out then I've got a lot of other things that I'd be interested in like the medical field like just being like a surgeon I've always thought that would be cool and just that would take a lot of time and dedication so yeah um question from Tyler are you hungry always always um a question from Carol what is something you wish adults understood about teenagers right now um that's a good question I think just being just being understanding and having empathy for what they're feeling because everyone was a teenager once who's not one now um so I think if they showed more empathy and understanding of what they were going through maybe they could have better uh ways to help them if you could give your freshman self advice what would you say now freshman me was uh the covid year so I got like half of my freshman experience so I think I would tell myself to live that half of the year to my absolute fullest and make as much memories as I can even though I think I did pretty well at that um, I made a lot of good memories in my freshman year uh, before COVID and even after COVID uh, although that situation was really really scary and just shocking I think I think I found time to uh, to see the good of that situation and just I don't know it was just a very really, very weird year so I just tell myself to live live every day to my fullest Laura Shea asked for my Spotify so I've been getting this question a lot too so I'll just link it in the description um, or in the comments probably but yeah you guys can just check that out um, from Gracie who are your top favorite bands slash music artists um and am i single and no i have a girlfriend and i love her very much but um my top favorite bands are music artists and this is a really hard question um just because i could i could spend so long thinking about this and deciding but in not in any order definitely tyler creator's gotta be up there the beatles gotta be up there frank ocean possibly i've been getting a lot like heavily into him um the doors definitely um more recently uh it just changes so often so it's hard to put like a like an all time on that um you could definitely just check out my spotify to see which ones i listen to the most but right now my top five would gotta be like 
Also, I like horror stories. Um, my favorite Disney movie. Um, wow, this is prob it's probably Up. I've always, always loved Up, and that was really sad, but it's just, like, it's a classic movie, you know? Um, question by Lopes. Something you really hate? I'm not really gonna, I don't, there's not much I hate, you know? Everything just is. Um, and everyone's learning. Next question's by Rebecca S. Uh, do you have a favorite ASM artist? for Christmas. 
Christmas. Um, what was it? Like a year and some ago. But that was the first final I was gifted and the first final I played. And uh, great experience. Um, but Simone and Devon and Endonova was my favorite color. Um, my favorite color is red. thoughts on Justin Bieber. He's good. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a Bieber. I'm not, or Belieber. I don't know what they're called. But, uh, I think he makes good music. He's talented. Um, if I had one more day on Earth, what would, um, what would my last day on Earth playlist be? That's a good question. It would definitely be a lot of, uh, uplifting and positive optimistic song is just about the afterlife if there's any songs like that um there's probably some like nice frequency sounds in there too just to have me go out peacefully and then there's a span of comments by alexander valentine that i'll save to the end of this video because i think he has like like 30 questions so I'm like and they're like simple questions so i'll just answer them at the end of this video so alexander stay tuned to the end but um if any da boy you're like a day one you've been here for so long um how fun are creating videos and are we gonna get some bloopers um creating videos is very fun like at first it was like i had to get used to it because it was it was uncomfortable talking to in, in front of a camera and i would just not be able to talk at all you know um and the, but now it's like it's so nice it's so natural and it feels so comfortable to me it's like it's literally like we're having a conversation like you said are we are you gonna get some bloopers um i don't really have a lot of bloopers uh, saved at least i kind of just delete them but that's a good idea maybe i'll save some and just have a little blooper reel uh because <laughs> some are really really bad um let's go through these like 40 40 comments um has anyone ever told me that I look like Lilati by Andrea Aguilar? And yes, uh, a lot of times in the comments, a lot of times in person too. Um, my real name's Logan. Um, it's by uh, my son, Peacock. Um, do I remember the first ASMR video I've ever watched? And yes, I do, surprisingly. Um, it was a long time ago, like five years ago maybe, and I was just like sitting on my bed basement couch and I was like watching YouTube videos and I found this YouTuber like talking about ASMR videos and how um they're like this new thing that's or not new but just getting a lot of traction and I watched it and I just like had my headphones on and I was like whoa and I was just like what is happening like I just thought it was really cool um but yeah I can't even remember what what video it was it was just this girl with only her like face showing from there down and just like whispering both sides of your ears but um yeah um by charlie avocado i love your guys names by the way they're so unique um if you could meet and or collab with any asm artist who would it be Whew, that's a if, for collabs probably gb i mean who wouldn't want to talk to her or or darling and darling or gb would be like the the coolest collabs because like i just think talking to them and seeing how how they reacted to their this like asmr channel just becoming like like a career for them like it could be a career but i just i want to meet a lot of asmr it's like the ones i listened before like uh, uh bo and pj and all of them and crazy uh I think those would be cool to meet and or collab with. I mean, let's like talking to them would be cool. Um, let's see here. Um, by Clueless ASMR, and I, I love the I love the, your compliment. Thank you so much. But um, how do you balance a school work and your channel? I'm finding it really hard to stay consistent with uploading about to start college in the fall and I'm sure that's going to make things more difficult to make content. Now, I think balancing uh, all these things are really hard for me. Um, they still are something like to, um, it's like difficult. 
difficult. You, you gotta put a lot of effort into finding a balance. Um, but it's really just scheduling out when you're gonna make videos and like staying consistent to that and just like keeping with your own word. Um, so I'll make sure I get everything else done in my life, like my school and work, and uh, that I'll, I'll make sure those are done and taken care of, and then I'll be able to record my video. And uh, yeah, it's saying consistent is like a really, really, really hard thing, but it just it really pays off in the end with anything you do. And so it's a challenge, but you can definitely do it. I believe in you. Um, Scott McCallie, what's your favorite animal? A kitty cat, probably. Forest is my favorite, my my favorite animal. But other than like a domestic animal, mm, I don't really, I don't really like have one. I don't think. I think a lot of animals are cute. You know, like little dolphins or or like baby hippos. Those are, those things are so good. Or like a chichilla. Is that what they're called? Or like groundhogs. Oh, those are really cute. Um, my hair routine. Um, I kind of just like wash it every three days or like every other day sometimes. Just, I usually condition it like every day and just shampoo it um, like every other day or every three days or so. I don't usually do anything over the weekends to my hair just to let it like have a rest from all the, the product that it gets put in. But I think that's just a key to any hair routine. It's just not over saturate with your, your hair with all these products. I think it's, I think it's working out for, with, for me. I need to get hair because soon like it's going it's going so far. Um, um question from Simone. Have I ever been to Australia? And if so, where would you go and where? I've never been and I would love to go there. Um, I have no clue where I would go in there, but I know that that country seems like really cool with all the the, the wildlife and then the the kangaroos. I don't really know much about Australia, but I think it'd be really cool to go there. Um, was there anyone who inspired my style from Maisie Wright? Um, there's definitely a lot of inspirations for my style. Um, just uh, Tyler the Creator. I mean, he is an inspiration for anyone. I mean, he, he didn't really inspire the way I dress. He inspired me to get out of my comfort zone and kind of have a like style for myself, you know? Like I'm not gonna try to wear the stuff that he wears, but rather wear things that I wanna wear that nobody else is really like wearing or forcing me to wear, you know? Like I'm not gonna try to dress to fit in anymore. I'm gonna dress because I'm gonna dress in things that I think I look good in. But uh, I think Luca's, Luca Fersco or uh, Steve Lacey, of course, and role model are pretty good uh, uh, fashion inspirations, too. And am I gonna recreate an ASMR video with my parents? That is definitely on the list. I think that would be an amazingly, hilariously disastrous video, but uh, I think that'd be a really fun video. Um, um, for the Q&A by Larder, what birthday would I pick? Myself. It can be far in the past, like 1200, or in the future year 3000. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with my own birthday, um, my own birthday, because I don't want to be living in any other time frame than, than where I am right now. Because if I was, then I would not have the same life uh, that I do. But uh, I think I'd also be really cool to grow up in like the 60s too. I mean, that would just be cool. I, I mean, any, any era you could like certain things about, even though it could have been worse for in some aspects, or like a lot of aspects. Um, by Bjorn Johansson, uh, do you do modeling? Um, no, I do not. Uh, I don't think I'm, I'm good enough to do that, but that would definitely be really cool. Uh, um, what program do I edit my videos on? Um, by Joseph A. And I just use iMovie on my phone. Um, I'm not really a tech savvy person, so if I had a computer with an editing software, I would definitely use that because that might be easier. But the iMovie works.
works well enough. was really 
fan. Really, these two artists, I just listened to Chance the Rapper and Logic, um, which I've came a long way from and just like broadened my listening. But uh, those two, and I kind of figured out like uh, Logic, uh, I found him through my two friends. And so, really, I could probably stake my my falling in love with music on the relationships that I had with people and uh, our sharing of a likeness for a song. I remember being in like elementary school and on the computer laptop or on the computers in our computer class with my one friend, and we would be like watching the music videos for Broccoli by Lil Yachty or uh, the Lil Uzi Vert album that just came out or Chance the Rapper's. Uh, the acid rap album. Oh, it brings back memories, man. It's, it's so cool. Oh, Gracie Williams, what are your favorite Beatles albums? As well, your t- top three favorite songs by them. Well, some songs first. Number one's gotta be Strawberry Fields Forever. Number two, probably When I'm 64. Um, number three, maybe Eleanor Rigby or Blackbird. Those are my top three, I think. Right now, at least. Um, my favorite album, though. Ooh. It's definitely between Medical Mystery Tour and uh, Sgt. Pepper's. So. Oh, this is a hard one. I think I'm going to have to go with Magical Mystery Tour. That's a really, really, really good album. Even though all their albums are amazing. Um. They're so kind. I love all of you. Oh, Big Nate's ASMR. What person in your life really set a positive vibe to keep striving for your goals? There's been a lot of people in my life that has been doing that, but uh, I like that question because I think I don't, I don't think it's it's one person in particular that has done really a major Im- impact on me. I think it's just a collection of a lot of different personalities striving or motivating me because like my basketball coach motivates me in different ways than my my girlfriend would you know but uh they all have a a role in that and uh it comes down to me because uh, i think i'm definitely like the biggest example of what i want to strive my goals for because um i just anytime i need motivation i just think that like it's my own self, and I've got control over anything I do, and, uh, if I want to really do something, then, I, then I'll do it, you know, but, uh, to give you a definite answer, probably, probably my friend, uh, my one friend Aiden, I think he's, he's sent a really, like, he's been, ever since I started becoming, like, better friends with him, he's kind of just set that, like, uh, positive influence on me and just kind of has helped me mo- keep motivated and just keeping in check of what I want and I think he's got a different different point of view than a lot of my other friends and it's just really cool um my celebrity crush by WLS Beauty I haven't really had a, like a definite celebrity crush but uh there's some crushes that I've had before, like Sophia Lillis, Sophia Lillis from It, um, or like Cara Delevingne, Delevingne, I don't know how you say it, or Mar- Marco Robbie, of course, and where do I see myself in five years, and in five years I'll be 21, so, wow, but, uh, in, when I'm 21, I, I see myself definitely in college, and, uh, probably having a, a very nice time and just uh, I hope to see myself in a different place like maybe looking at a looking at a sunset with my with my girlfriend and uh, having a nice like glass of water like listening to music listening to like Tyler Creator's like <laughs> album of the year oh, I think that'd be a cool place to see myself um, my favorite album of all time by Kyla, and that's probably gotta be Acid Rap by Chance, just for nostalgic values, that's definitely not the best album I've listened to out of all my albums, but favorite, um, probably that one, how tall am 
sense of quarantine, how do I feel? Um, I like this question. Um, it was a really, really weird feeling. I just, I didn't know what I was, what was happening at all. So I was just kind of distracting myself by playing Minecraft with my friends, and I, I enjoyed that. So, but I was just really annoyed with how everything was going on, and I was kind of scared for them. What's going, what was going to happen? Um, do I have any favorite candy bar? I like Hershey's. I like the plain chamber, the Hershey's. for you being caught blind, would you ever want to fly a plane? Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, do I currently feel guilty about anything? No. Uh, have you ever been into the emergency room? Yes. For a lot of different reasons, uh, like dislocating uh, limbs. Uh, have, ever, have I ever been in a fist fight? I haven't. Do I choose my morning, my school outfit the night before, the morning of, morning of usually, how do I style my hair, like this, I kind of just like push it back and it just kind of falls, do I snore, I hope not, high fives or fist bumps, I'm a fist bump kind of guy, maybe like a both, like a high five and a fist bump, <clears throat> um, there's some questions I can't actually answer on here, why is life unfair, that's great, I, I don't really know, quantum physics, what do I know about it? Um, not really much. I know that, like, physics is really hard, and there's a lot of, like, mind-blowing concepts within it. Um, if I could be instantly good at anything, what would it be? Probably, like, singing. I think that, like, just being really, really good at singing. Just being able to sing along with anything. Um, can that change when I travel to space? Yes. Have I ever been to Las Vegas? No. Um, hard, cold weather? Hot. Um, broken fracture bone? Yes, my arm. Um, dread doing, but now I have no choice to do. Going to school some days, and this is like common. I am a fan of roller coasters. Um, I kind of speak French. Um, if given the chance, would you ever want to model professionally? Yeah, that would be really cool. Um, favorite way to accessorize an outfit? This is a chain. Or, that's what I like. Or, wearing sunglasses in the summer. Um, resent the past or let things go? Definitely let things go. And, uh, <laughs> the secret to happen relationship communication and uh, honesty, you know, I do play video games, um, I'm not really guilty about the things that pleasure me, uh, does karma exist, it could if you believe it to be, um, season, probably summer or spring. Um, I do play sports. I do um, basketball, track, and uh, football and soccer. I play any instruments, guitar and piano. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm sorry if I couldn't get to your guys' questions or if I, if I missed some. Uh, coming. 